because you're a new creature in Christ today, which is different than who you were yesterday and six months before that and two years from now. Because I don't know about you guys, but my move is go. I, I move. Amen. I'm going from glory to glory. I'm moving deeper in my faith all the time, which means my flesh is dying by the minute. So it's okay. I can tell you testimonies of what's happened in the baptisms in the last six months that are just crazy. But but she went down a saved believer, baptized in the Holy Spirit, but she came out of it. She came out, Stacy Christ. Amen. We live in Christ, right? right? So everybody's okay with that. I'm not blowing up. There's a lot of places I can't say that. But you all realize that, right? You're a new creature in Christ. So if you go down fielding, go harvest, you're coming out fielding Christ. <laughs> you go harvest. You might be cage. You could be go harvest. <laughs> right? Okay. All right. So go ahead. And just one thing that really signifies to me meaning to you is the death, burial, and resurrection. Right. Yes. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Which was which right. was the preeminence in what John the Baptist was doing, right? Right. Because it's what he preached. So in Mark 1, I, I love this in the Passion. I so like the eloquence and the uh, the, the verbiage, the way, the way most of this is written in the Passion. This is the beginning of the wonderful news of Jesus, the Messiah, the Son of God. It starts with Isaiah, the prophet, who wrote, listen, I'm sending my messenger ahead of you, and he will prepare a way. He is a thunderous voice of the one who shouts in the wilderness. Prepare your hearts for the coming of the Lord, Yahweh, and clear a straight paths inside your hearts for him. Mm -hmm. We're not just talking about this all being a matter of the heart. Right? This whole journey is our heart. Mm -hmm. John the baptizer was a messenger who appeared in an uninhabited region preaching a baptism of repentance. Can you imagine any of you going out into the middle of nowhere where nobody had heard of Jesus before? And saying, oh no, this is really what you want to do. Come on, I'm going to dunk you. And you're going to be saved by, and Yahweh's going to love you. You're going to live forever with your creator. Yeah, no thanks. Right? That's setting aside who we're told John the Baptist, what he looked like in the natural. A little unique, for, right? For culture. <laughs> <laughs> Preaching a baptism of repentance for the complete, the complete cancellation of sins. So remember a couple of minutes ago when I was saying, are, are we moving mm. in a heart position that is a constant renewal of our mind? Am I the only one that's in a constant renewal of my mind? Mm -hmm. Oh no, I hope this not. This flesh thing, right? So and I can relate to Paul when he said that to Timothy in his last letter. But I got it. I understand what he meant. This is a journey, not a 50-yard dash. So when, when we get to take these prophetic moments, like, like maybe you don't take communion like that every day. That was glorious. I want this to be the same way as we kill flesh out there and let it float back down the river. I want you to come out as Christ. Amen. You're a new creature, right? Uh-oh. I jigged and I should have jogged. <laughs> A steady stream of people came to be dipped in the Jordan as they publicly confessed their sins. Come on. Never done before. I know. How simple, how easy, but what a glorious representation of how simple this gospel message is. In all the conversations I've been blessed to have with you guys, just a little bit one-on-one -on -one this far, this is just glorious. This journey is just glorious. And it is truly so simple once we get the heck out of the way. So even if that is just letting us get out of the way a little bit more in the flesh, use this as a way to kill your flesh, that intellect, that 
that catch, that chain, that bungee, whatever that is, just let it use it for that, right? But come out deeper in him. Amen. Yeah, praise God. Okay. Amen. So, okay, I'm getting baptized today. <laughs> <laughs> not a religious symbol. Right. Not a religious yeah, symbol. no, no, no. Right. Buried with him in baptism. Your old nature is buried with him. That's, yeah. that's that baptism. flesh. That's those dead bodies I talked about. Yep, yeah, that's right. Not a symbol. Yep. Real. Dead. Real. Buried. Done. Old man. Shama. Raised. New in Christ. Amen. Yeah. Completely moved. Amen. Wow. I believe that it was because Fielding was just speaking against the law part. Yes. Right. It's a symbol of right. Okay. And she was she got the word circumcision. Well, throughout the scriptures, Paul used circumcision as a as an identifier for the heart being stuck in the law. Yeah. We don't walk up in no stinking law in here. Uh -huh. Woo! I still might stand. <laughs> Okay. Um, if you want to be baptized, make sure you bring a towel. Okay. Bring a change of clothes. And 